and welcome to Faye's Cauldron. I am Faye and this is my cauldron. I hope you're having a very nice day. That pun is forever more intended. So today we're doing a yes or no pick a card. I have here five groups for you guys to choose from. We have group number one with this green quartz, group number two with this white quartz or clear quartz we have group number three with the soda light group number four with the hematite and group number five with the rose quartz got a lot of quartz today um <laughs> take your time to take a deep breath to connect let your intuition guide you and i will see you in the video blessings all right so for group number one people who connected with the green quartz so for people who connected with group number one, you have further question in mind, is it a yes or a no? Group number one, people with question in mind, is the answer a yes or a no? Show the truth, think about the truth. Oh, my God. So we got the Ace of Wands in reverse, the Eight of Wands in reverse. So I feel like you guys are making a little hasty decision. I feel like you guys need to slow down, kind of pull the brakes on the situation, and Ace of Cups in reverse. Okay, so this is a no. I mean, like, you can definitely take your chances because I feel like you guys are like, no, but I'm really hopeful about this. Like, no, I really feel this. But the thing is, the chances of you coming out of the situation unfulfilled and honestly having your cup being emptied and this kind of draining you, the situation will be draining to you. So I would look for another option. I would invest my time and all this passion that you're feeling or all of these like good things that you're expecting. I would reuse it into a new and better opportunity for you guys. So this is a no, it is not worth your time. I don't think so at all. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. I love you guys. And until the next video, blessings. All right, so for group number two, people who connected to the queer quirks. Group number two, their question in mind is to answer a yes or a no. Oh, oh gosh. Okay. <sighs> Yes or no for group number two for the question in mind. Two. The answer to the question in mind is a yes or a no. Okay. So we have the lovers in reverse. Queen of Cups and the Ten of Swords. Okay, okay, okay. So you guys are very emotionally attached to the answer that you're seeking right here. For some of you, it has to do with a potential person, with a potential partner or an actual partner. And for some of you guys, it's also like specifically, specifically once again about their feelings towards you. Some of you are actually asking the question like, does so and so love me? And like what I have to say is this person, they do admire your beauty and this nurturing essence that you carry, you know, the time you've invested. They see beauty in you, but I don't think it's there yet. No, this Ten of Swords, mm -mm. the lovers in reverse, no. Am I this person's priority? I wouldn't say so. You're definitely someone they like and that they are somewhat invested in. We would have to go more in depth, check that out. But no, 
um, for a business project. Is this a yes or a no? You guys, I don't think this is the best investment or the best opportunity for you guys. You might get bit in the butt after you go in and go in depth with it. So I would not move on with this decision. This is a no. This is be more realistic. I feel like you guys need to put your, like, like ground yourselves a bit because this is being very emotionally guided and not that that's a bad thing, but your mind isn't really going hand in hand. Like the rational side isn't going hand in hand with the emotional. So this is being a little bit, a little bit uh, auto sabotage, like you're sabotaging yourself. So I would say this is a no. This is a no. This is be open to receive better things because that's definitely coming in for you guys. You know, in case this is like a, a romantic thing, you know, about this person's feelings. I feel like for some of you guys, you're going to meet someone new, someone who is more invested, or basically this is just like get to know this person better, you know with temperance with care with patience but for now it's a no so yeah thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video i love you blessings all right for group number three people connected to group number three with the soda light stone group number three with their question in mind is the answer a yes or a no Group number three, question in mind, is the answer a yes or a no? Show me truth and nothing but the truth. So we have the four of wands, beautiful. The five of cups in reverse. And the Three of Swords in the verse. Hmm. Oh, wow. This is some tea. It is definitely some tea. So, here's the thing. For a lot... So, this is a... This is a yes, but it's kind of a... It's a suffer... It's a bittersweet. No, it's not bittersweet. It's just bitter. So, it's a yes because a lot of you are asking pertaining to a third party. A lot of you are asking about something you should let go. A lot of you are asking about something, if something is really done, if something is really being... Like, this cycle is being closed, relationship-wise, business-wise, anything. This is a very, like a question that's coming from a place of a negative rooted doubt okay and the answer is a yes do they have a third person yes are they more invested in someone else yes this is a suffered yes it is a yes pertaining to a very negative situation so <laughs> my gosh why are my readings always so chaotic i always get like the readings where I, I like people want to shoot the messenger but that's fine i love my work it's what i'm here for it's my mission yada yada thank you so much for watching like and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video i love you and you got this and i believe in you so for those of you who connected to the hematite stone group number four Let's see if the answer to your question is a yes or a no. Let's see. Group number four. Is the answer to their question in mind a yes or a no for group number four? Okay. Show me the truth and nothing but the truth. Okay. Let's go. Let's see. So they have the high priestess. Beautiful card, right? The Five of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. So, things, so, oh, you guys are really in a space of doubt because even the circumstances are like questionable, you know? But the answer is a yes, and it's something that it's gonna bring some strife, it's gonna bring some conflict, how things are going to happen how this story is going to play out it's going to be kind of conflicting a lot of things are going to come to the surface a lot is going to be revealed and you're going to end up in a place of comfort of abundance 
and of just simply being in your power once again. So be that being in your power and happy and establishing a relationship once again. It's a yes. Whatever this pertains to, you know, adjust it to your own reality. The answer is a yes. This is also a sign from the divine because this, the high priestess brings in that spiritual energy. So you guys have been receiving signs, signals. You've been asking for it. The universe has been what delivering it to you. So receive it. This is a yes. You're definitely going to battle for it. You're definitely going to fight on for what it is you want, for it, what it is that you desire, but everything's going to turn out well. So this is a yes. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. I love you so much. Until the next video. Blessings. Alrighty, for group number five, for all of you who connected to the Rose Quartz, for group number five, for their question in mind, is the answer a yes or a no? For group number five, people connected to those courts, is the answer to their question in mind a yes or a no? Show me the truth and nothing but the truth. So we have the Nine of Pentacles in reversed. It also came out for group number four. Some of you who are on group number four are watching this now. And some of you here maybe should watch group number four. The Moon. Oh, so beautiful. Such a beautiful card. And the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This is a no, you guys. This is a no. Um, in the situation that you are, you guys have to be careful with deceit, with illusions that are being fed to you or that you have created on your own. Be careful with sabotaging yourself. You know, it's good to be in touch with your emotions. It's actually, it's one thing to be in touch with your emotions and that's amazing. But another thing is to let yourself be completely, completely guided from them and ignoring all the red flags, ignoring all the signals that this is not for you and that this is not going to fulfill you. So if you insist in the situation, if this is a decision that you're making, I would not um, invest my time because you're going to come out of the situation um, very drained emotionally and it's really going to impact you even on your finances if this is an investment it's not worth your time um, you're being deceived in like the minimum of things and if this is just an answer you want this is a no I think you're being deceived I think you're being lied to I think you're being fed up fed things that aren't really true that aren't really going to serve you and a lot of you it has to do with a very masculine energy who is really good with words you know they're they're very they're very good with the words they'll make you believe stuff they would be able to come very convincing that's what they wanted to say they would be able to convince you that the sky is purple okay so you guys yes the answer is no thank you so much for watching do not shoot the messenger i love you all like and subscribe Blessings.